This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm chatting with Hassin Labaid from Tunisia, um, the co-founder of a Tunisian startup called Safan Energy, which focuses on R&D in wind energy. Hassin spoke at TED Global about his new zero blade wind technology recently. It's called the Safonian. So we're here to learn more about this uh, breakthrough. Hassin, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. I'll pass you. Great. So Hassin, describe the Safonian. How can it possibly generate um, energy from wind without any blades? So basically, uh, uh, we got inspired to uh, come up with um, a radical new technology uh, that we call the Safonian, I mean the zero blade technology, which has no blades and doesn't even rotate. And instead, it is largely inspired from the sailboat and it uses kind of a sail shaped body to harness uh, the, the kinetic energy of the wind in, in a very unique and simple uh, way. Um, Hassin, can a single uh, installation of this sail generate as much energy as a standard turbine? So, in terms of efficiency, um, the current wind turbine uh, have uh, an average efficiency of about 30-35%. That means that if you have 100% uh, initial uh, um, kinetic energy of the wind coming to attack the turbine, you end up converting 30% of this initial wind into electricity. That means that about 70% of the initial wind is simply lost because of the low efficiency of this turbine. In our case, with the Safonian, we managed to improve substantially this uh, uh, efficiency level by two, I mean, the, the latest uh, result that we have in our prototype uh, proved that we improved it by 2.3 times. That means, I mean, from uh, 30, 35% to 80%, which is, I mean, a huge jump in, in, in terms of uh, efficiency. Uh, on top of that, it is very, very cheap to manufacture because we are removing most of, I mean, uh, some of the most expensive component of the current three blade turbine. And on top of that, uh, we have the option of energy uh, storage. I mean, the, the Saturn, in the way it's designed, this allows us to um, store the hydraulic pressure, you know, uh, at a very affordable uh, way, in a very affordable way. How did you fund your creation of the Safonian? And is Tunisia a good place to develop uh, wind technology? It was not an easy game uh, having just a technology, a technology, uh, a very promising technology, a technology coming from places, you know, like like Tunisia, like you know, the developing world, you know, it, it's it's not very common. So obviously, people and many investors were quite skeptical, you know, say, okay, uh, start up with two kids, you know, in Tunisia, uh, uh, claiming that they have uh, a breakthrough innovation. Uh, so we had to sell, you know, and, 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 and uh, our idea by, um, um, you know, by an emotional transfer and, and connection rather than, you know, a, a tangible uh, a demonstration of in terms of uh, evaluation or in terms of future cash flow or in terms of because at this stage uh, it's very subjective. It's very tough to put a value on, on stuff like that. So it is more on the connection with the people, the trust that you build, the fact that you, you, you show that my partner and I are giving up our entire international career, my banking career, and this has a very, very successful career with, a, you know, a, a oil and gas a giant. So uh, these investors, when they saw what what are, uh, we are doing, you know, to pursue this this venture, they said, okay, for sure there is something, you know, uh, 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 here. So they they took the risk and they founded the the venture. Uh, and we closed the first funding round uh, about um, eight months ago. Well, Mabruk, it, it seems like a technology that needs to be funded. Um, I'm glad investors have come around to understanding it. What are the next steps for you in terms of deploying prototypes? 
our strategy uh, uh, going forward is we would like to remain focused on the R&D space. So uh, we are not equipped, we don't have any uh, uh, knowledge or expertise to uh, go to the manufacturing uh, um, uh, phase. Uh, we, uh, I mean, our aim is to partner, let's say, with a major uh, player in the wind or, or uh, um, uh, energy, let's say, uh, sector, uh, to take um, this technology to the next level and start uh, quick deployment. So uh, we are looking at you know, either joint venture or, 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 or some some kind of partnership where a big guy with the established track record and established you know, capacity and knowledge you know will uh, partner with us we we bring the, the technology bring you know the capacity and the resources so that we can go to the next level uh, quickly hopefully thanks so much for chatting with Wanda Hansen thank you Elena. thank you very much look forward to hearing from you very soon hopefully